What's up producers, in this video I am going to show you an easy chord progression trick that you can use to get some really, really smooth R&B vibes. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Bruce Beats. I specialize in teaching producers how to play piano specifically for music production and how to make industry standard productions and get those productions placed on TV. I have thousands of places with major brands myself, Netflix, Hulu, Fox Sports. I've worked with mainstream industry artists and everything like that. So you are in the right place, my friend. And let's go ahead and get right into it. So this chord progression I played in the intro actually utilizes this trick and that's why it sounds super suave but we're gonna take it into a different key in the key of C so that you can see how it works so let's say we're in the key of C minor and we take this very simple progression F minor 7 G minor 7 C minor 7 very very simple nothing crazy Now, there's nothing wrong with that progression, but if we do this the whole time throughout the entire song, it's going to get a little boring. And so there's one trick that we can do that's going to take this and it's going to make it super, super soulful. And this works perfectly in a minor key. And the trick is to take this one chord and make it a major chord because this is the home sound when we play C minor. We feel like we've arrived there. So we're going to take that and instead of playing it as C minor, we're gonna play it as C major. And you see, just by doing that, it sounded incredibly wonderful. So check this out. Now I'm gonna play the progression. The first time I'm gonna play the first line just as is. And then the second time, the only thing I'm gonna change is making that C a C major instead of a C minor. That's the only thing I'm gonna change. And listen to what happens to the progression. See how wonderful that is? Super, super great. So there's the trick. Take your root minor chord and just play it as a major as simply as we did it here. So let's take another progression as an example so we can see how we can do this. So this time, let's do something in the key of A minor so we can see that difference. In the key of A minor, it's all white keys, right? And if I'm in the key of A minor, the chord that I'm gonna wanna switch to is A major. Because remember the rule, we're taking the root minor chord and we're making it a major chord. Simple as that. So if we're playing with a progression here, let's say. That's a cool one. So that progression I just played is A minor, F major, D minor, E7, and I like to do an altered chord here because it sounds really, really cool, and then we're back to A minor, okay? And the numbers for that are a one, flat six, four, five, back to one. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the numbers, we can go ahead and talk about that in a different video. If that's something you would like to do, just type the word numbers in the comments and I'll make sure to make an entire video dedicated to that. That's a little bit beyond the scope of this video, but as always, you can pause, you can rewind, and you can see exactly what I'm playing so you can cop the exact voicings. Let's take this and see if we can make it a little bit more soulful by literally playing the same exact thing, only swapping out an A minor for an A major. Now we're back to the beginning. So you see by just doing this one little major chord, this one little switch, it brought so much life to it. Now, this technique is nothing new under the sun. For those of you who like the history of things and like to understand where things come from, this technique has been used since the 1600s. Really the technical term for this technique is called a Picardy third, because really what we're doing is, like I said, an A minor. If we're playing an A minor, all the keys are white. But really the only thing that differentiates a major chord and a minor chord is that third note, right? If I'm playing in C major, one, two, three, four, five, three, two, one, right? Here's my C major chord. If I wanna make this chord a minor chord, I'm going to take this third note, one, two, three, and I'm gonna flat it. And so this one flat three, five, 
versus one natural 3-5 defines a major chord and a minor chord. And you can even see this switch. Major chord, 1-3-5. Minor chord, 1 flat 3-5. And so when we're playing in a minor key, and we use this, much like we did the first time, that's naturally what it would be. But if I pickerty third it, sounds cool. But you see how that sounded kind of bland? So really what I like to do in a modern R&B fashion, and, and this is me, but I didn't make this up. I just got this from, you know, all the cats that I looked up to growing up, Music Soul Child, Erica Badu, D'Angelo, Robert Glasper, these cats, is that when you get to that one, instead of just playing it as a regular major chord, you put the colors on it. So you put the, ooh, you put the seven, you put the nine, and you make it super wonderful and that's why it sounds so beautiful so in the same example that we did before F to G sus to A we can do that or we can put all the colors on it mm. A major 9 A major 7 and I have a very simple system for actually playing these chords it's called the grip system it takes these four note shapes and makes them super easy to play to get all the colors if you haven't heard of my grip system and you would like to just type the word grips in the comments and I can send you a free master class on that super super awesome and valuable so that's the technique y'all take the root minor chord and make it major it's as simple as that go ahead and start playing with this play with these progressions play with this progression here and see how you can come up with your own progressions where you simply just take the one chord in a minor key and make it major and watch how your progressions just really start coming to life if you like this content and want more videos like these absolutely subscribe to the channel like and comment on this video so you can keep getting more value just like this also check out some of my other videos somewhere on this screen so you can learn more awesome techniques just like this to improve your productions and i will see you on the next video this is bruce beats peace